This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Let's play the alignment game. You have objects in Adobe Illustrator that need to be aligned in some particular order. So what I've got here for this demo are a couple of circles that I drew. And I want them maybe aligned vertically, maybe I want them aligned horizontally. I need them in a straight line. If you've got the Like Photoshop workspace selected, I want you to click this button right here. That opens up the Align palette. A lot of little tricks that go on with aligning objects. For example, the objects that you need to align obviously have to be selected. So we can come up here, pick up our selection tool, and draw a big marquee around all this and select them all. The first object you have is aligned to the left, aligned to center, or aligned to right if we're going vertical. And this would be top, middle, and bottom. But center and left and right, top, middle, bottom of what? What is it aligning it to? That's what this button is right here. If you click that button, you have align to selection, align to a key object, and align to the artboard. Let's start with artboard. If we say align to the artboard and press left, they're all going to the artboard, left or right or center. So that's aligning it to the artboard, whatever that is. I'm just pressing undo to get it back. If you say align to selection, what it's going to do is choose one of the objects as the alignment object. For example, if we align to top, this one won't move because it's the topmost shape. And if we click, you'll notice everything aligns to the yellow. If we say align to bottom, it's going to align to the bottom. If we say align to center, it's going to look for the mathematical center based on the top and bottom, which would of course be right about here. And if we align to center, it will take them all to that point. So alignment to selection is based on which object is where within the group, aligned to selection. The last one of the three is aligned to a key object, which I find interesting. Let's say align to key object. Select an object. For example, let's select the yellow one. You click on it once, it gets this big old line going around it. That's now the key object. If we say align to left, right, or center, it really doesn't matter, or top, bottom, let's say this one, we're going to align to bottom. Watch what happens though. Everything goes to that object. The key object doesn't move. So if you align to a key object, you select the group, you come down here, you select align to key object, and then you select the one that you don't want to move and everything has to come to it. That's aligning to a key object. The last area is distribute to spacing. Now if we look at our objects right now, we can go distribute here. Now this is the basic, and all it's going to do is give them equal spacing. So if we want this object here, and this one way over here, and if we select them all again, we can first make them all centered, which is nice. And now we want them to have equal spacing based on this one and this one. And we just simply click this button right here and distribute, which is fine. But my design calls for spacing between each one of, say, 25 pixels. Now, if you're going to do it that way, go back to Align To and go into Align to Key Object. And it will choose one of these objects as a key. You can change that if you want to. Change this number right here, say, to 25 pixels. Now distribute spacing. And what happened is the key object didn't move. But there is now exactly 25 pixels of space between each one of these objects. The alignment panel is a very powerful tool for, in a sense, getting all your ducks in a row. There is another way we can do this, however. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and undo a couple of things, get them kind of messed up again. Go up to the word view on the pull down menu and go down to rulers if they're not already visible and say show rulers. Rulers have something that have been around for a hundred years. They're called guides. If I come over here and grab in my ruler and pull out, I'm pulling out what's defined as a guide. So you can do that from here or you can do it from here and you can put guides on the screen all day long. Let's say you're pulling this thing down and you decide you needed another vertical, not a horizontal. Don't try to put it back. It becomes an object as soon as it's out of the ruler bar. And if you try to do that, all you're going to do is this. Suggestion, easiest thing is to let go and press undo. 
that'll get rid of it if you didn't want that one. But here's something to remember. It's a little trick for you. If you're pulling down a horizontal and you wish you had a vertical or vice versa, don't let go of the mouse. Reach over with your other hand and hold on the Alt key. Now, if you do that, it will change that horizontal to a vertical or vice versa. Don't let go of the Alt key until you've let go of the mouse and you've created, hopefully, what you wanted. Now, guides by default snap. So if I come over here and pick up my Move tool, and as you can see, we can align them and literally snap them to that line. If I wasn't all that specific on what I wanted, I didn't need an alignment tool, I suppose I could use a guide to make that happen. Here's another thing. What if your guides, the ones you need, aren't vertical or horizontal? They're at an angle. Do this. Come over here and pick up your line drawing tool and draw a line. Say something like about like that. Now that is not a guide. We know that. Do this. Make sure it's still selected. Go up to the word view on the pull down menu and go down to guides and select make guide. And what you've just done is you have made that object into a guide with all the rights and privileges of any other guide. All we have to do now is snap to it. So it is possible if you want to create unique types of guides to actually create a shape on the screen and convert it into a guide. Whether you're using the Align panel or you're using Guides, Alignment can help you organize the objects within your documents very easily, very quickly, and very simply.